Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. Um, hopefully you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I was thinking about uh, the scripture in Hebrews uh, that tells us it is appointed unto men once to die and after this the judgment. And I know sometimes until we face death in our own families or maybe we attend a funeral of a friend or a loved one that we really maybe don't give a lot of thought to what happens after but it is what happens after we leave here that makes it most important for us to be right with God you see I I think my idea is that if we were just to die and be buried and there was no afterlife then you could do whatever you chose to do and live it up or whatever um, some people would never do that they would never um, uh, maybe bend to their own desires or whatever maybe uh, uh, just because they have respect for their fellow man or their loved ones or the family and then there would be other people who would just run wild, thinking that there was nothing to face anyhow. And, you know, there are probably people that, that maybe do that anyhow. There's no price to be paid, but there is a price to be paid. The scripture says that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So if the wages of sin is death, I heard a preacher say one time, somebody's got to pay that. So either you're going to allow uh, the Lord and his sacrificial death on the cross to be your payment, or you're going to pay it yourself with death. Now, that's not just death, physical death, but eternal separation from God. The scripture says this is the second death. And so uh, death and hell will be cast into a lake of fire, the scripture says. So it's important uh, what you believe uh, and important why you believe it, of course. Do we do we keep that appointment? All of us keep it. None of us break it. It's been said many times, you can have an appointment for many things in this life. And you can have one that you would say, I wouldn't break that appointment for anything. And then that very uh, day, whoever it was or whatever it was you had going on, they could possibly call and say, oh, we need to change your appointment. But you won't change the one between uh, you and death it is appointed unto us once to die and after this then the judgment the only way to be right with God is to accept his son death is an appointment that we all must keep but as a child of God we just close our eyes and simply fall asleep to be carried away on angels' wings Up to heaven's golden shore We'll move right into a mansion there To live forevermore Grave, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? We just move on, we do not die, we just move on high to live with Christ the King. To walk on gold, to see the sights untold, and with saints of old to sing. Grave, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? It hurt us so to see Mama go to be gone forevermore. But before she closed her eyes in death, she heard that knock upon her door. We opened wide that door for her, and though we could not see, she said a band of angels just stepped in to take me home to glory. Grave, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? We do not die, we just move on high to live with Christ the King. 
to walk on gold to see the sights untold and with saints of old to sing grave where is your victory death where is your came to take the sting out of death and I say often and if he watches this he will hear it but the Curtis Jones says not only did he come to take the sting out of death but he came to take the stink out as well <laughs> all right God bless you folks hopefully you have a good day and uh, Lord willing we'll see you back on Friday Lord, I thank you for these folks that watch this. I pray that you would bless them today. In Jesus' name, amen. See ya.